Happy Wednesday, July 26, another opportunity for a summer read. And we know that this is the middle of the week and it's downhill, but it's uphill as far as exciting things to happen to us. Well, this book is Hello Red Fox. Even though we see a green fox. Let me uh, ask you all a question. Do you all remember Red Fox? Yeah, the comedian, and he's famous for Sanford and Son. But do you know what was his real name? I think his real name was John Elmer. Yeah, ask your grandparents about that. You don't know anything about it, but John Elmer, I believe. I think so. And he got his name... Um, Sanford, Fred Sanford, from his father, his real father, and his brother's name. So that's something interesting. This was a show, Sanford and Son, back in the 1970s, early 70s, I think 72 to 77. And supposedly he walked out on his contract not letting Lamont, his son, know that Sanford and Son was going to be renewed. So uh, supposedly the producers sued him and it was just a lot of drama. He was married uh, four times. He claimed bankruptcy at one time. He had to liquidate uh, businesses. He had a business once of having velvet roofs and a car, I guess, you know, to have like a pimp vehicle, I don't know. But you don't know anything about that. But the point is that there was someone named Red Fox a long time ago. Hello, Red Fox. But this man is Eric Carle, and we know that he was a famous artist who used collage and tissue paper, and he would paint, and he would use mixed media and just create masterpieces. Woo, look at this. This is the color wheel. And let me see if this is, yep, this is an accurate depiction of a color wheel, right? Because on a color wheel, the colors opposite of one another are related. They are the complementary colors, the opposite. So the complementary color of red is green. The complementary color of blue, think Chicago Bears, is orange. And the complementary color of purple is yellow. And then you mix in between and you have masterpieces. Okay, well, Mama Frog gets a big surprise when the guests arrive for Little Frog's birthday party. Red Fox looks green to her. Orange Cat looks blue. What has gone wrong? With, with the active help of the reader, Little Frog shows Mama Frog how to see the animals in their more familiar colors. Is it magic? No, it's a remarkable function of the human eye. As Little Frog demonstrates, anyone can do it. Small readers will enjoy taking part in the fun of changing the colors of the animals, and they will laugh at the effect they themselves can create at the end of the story when Mama Frog gives Little Frog an embarrassing birthday kiss. Eric Carl believes that learning should be a joyful experience in young readers to discover complementary colors. Just talked about that while enjoying the amusing story of Little Frog and his colorful friends. All right, let's go for it. Oh, this is beautiful so far. Yep, we see complementary colors here, green and red. Pink Christmas. In order to enjoy this book, follow these simple steps. The pages should be fairly well lighted. Well lit. Stare at the dot inside the red heart. Can you see this dot? So you're supposed to stare at it. And I guess... Your eyes are supposed to adjust. Slowly count to 10 without moving your eyes. Then move your eyes to the dot on the opposite blank page. Count to three. Okay. So you're supposed to look at this dot. And then you're gonna tr transfer your vision to this dot. Oh, you see it? Even even with me holding it, didn't you see the outline of the heart? That's so cool. All right. Our visualization. Okay, let's go. 
Your birthday is coming up, said Mama Frog. Let's have a party. A birthday party. Whom would you like to invite? Oh, I used to love kids' birthday parties. Oh, so much fun, especially when the parties are at someone's home. Oh, I remember my mom giving me a birthday party. I think it was third or fourth grade. And I remember she would pull out these games, but I remember it was a toilet tissue game where you had to wrap a partner's body standing up the toilet tissue so that you become like a mummy yeah those were the type of fun games and I can remember oh uh, the sherbet float mm. ginger ale with some sherbet ice cream frappe Ooh. all right anyway little frog answered I would like to invite my friends red fox purple butterfly orange cat green snake, yellow bird, blue fish, and white dog with a black spot. <laughs> oh, look at this. On Little Frog's birthday, his friends began to arrive. Hello, Red Fox, said Little Frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said Red Fox. But this is not a red fox, said Mama Frog. This is a green fox. Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the fox long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the fox for a long time. So you should center on this dot. So let's try to look. Okay. Now let's transfer it to the next page. I'm not sure if I saw a red fox. And indeed, little frog was right. So if you do it, let's see, let's try this again. Just keep your eyes. Maybe it's not well lit. They said it was about to rain, so I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Now transfer. I didn't see it like the heart. All right, well, let's try this. Hello, purple butterfly. Ha ha ha, said little frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said purple butterfly. But this is not a purple butterfly, said mama frog. This is a yellow butterfly. Oh, mama, you have to, you have not looked at the butterfly long enough, said little frog. Mama frog looked and looked at the butterfly for a long time. All right, let's try it. Let's look at this dot. Okay. You're staring at the middle. Now let's go. Hmm. And indeed, little frog was right. I saw it very faintly. Did you? very faintly and this reminds me of the famous painting at the art institute sunday afternoon in la grande jatte georgia surratt the famous painting in the middle of the gallery and impressionist gallery on the second floor where you see thousands and thousands of dots right that's called pointillism and Georges Seurat made that painting. He made several forms of painting, but the point is he created a masterpiece in Paris, I believe, of people walking in the park, La Grajade, I believe that's it. And you see the pet monkey, and you see people sitting on the grass, and you see a man with his cigar reclined. And if you look closely, you see all the dots, but it's just not random. But he used the scientific method of pointillism and he lined up colors with their complementary colors. So you saw the blues with the oranges and the reds and the greens and the yellows and the purples. And why he did that is so that the colors and the images could pop out. So check out before the summer is out. Go down to go down to the Art Institute and um, 
Metra trains, I believe, are half off. I only paid $2.25 the last time I was there. Okay. Hello, orange cat, said Little Frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said orange cat. Okay, let's see. We, we have to be able to see this, but let's read this first. But this is not an orange cat, said Mama Frog. This is a blue cat. Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the cat long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the cat for a long time. All right, so let's look at this black dot. Kinda. I saw it a little bit. What about you? Kinda. And indeed, Little Frog was right. I, I saw it a little bit. Okay. Hello, Green Snake. And maybe you could go back to this recording and hit pause. And maybe it takes more time for your eyes to adjust. But let's go to the next one. Hello, Green Snake, said Little Frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said Green Snake. <laughs> but this is not a green snake, said Mama Frog. This is a red snake. Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the snake long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the snake for a long time. So let's look at this. There's a black dot. Even though this looks orange to me, but okay. Let's stare. This reminds me of the story in the Old Testament, in the Bible, where Moses was given a staff, and then that staff, when he picked it up, turned into a snake. And then when he threw it to the ground, yeah, he threw it to the ground on a snake, and then when he picked up the snake again, by the tail, you know, that's a very dangerous part to pick up, as far as the snake, the tail, right? Woo talking about some attack but when he picked it up again it became a rod and that rod turned out to be a tool for many great things to take place so see what's in your hand see what's around you that you can use as a tool today all right did you stare at it enough okay a little bit okay I, I think I saw the green snake I did I did. And indeed, Little Frog was right. Did you see it? It was like a very faint shadow. Like I said, you had to be in a bright environment. Okay, let's try this. Hello, Yellow Bird, said Little Frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said Yellow Bird. But this is not a Yellow Bird, said Mama Frog. This is a purple bird. Are you blind? Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the bird long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the bird for a long time. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it? The black dot is right there. Are you still looking? Okay, so supposedly we should be able to see a pink bird on the next page. A orange bird, a red bird. Oh, you're right, a yellow bird. Okay, let's see if we can see a yellow bird. Let's see. A little. A little. What about you? And indeed, the little frog was right. Like I said, I think we need to be in better light. Okay, ooh, look at this vibrant orange fish. Hello, blue fish. <laughs> Said little frog, welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said Bluefish. But this is not a blue fish, said Mama Frog. This is an orange fish. Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the fish long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the fish for a long time. And the black dot is right there. And you know what? I thought about it. I should not have said the word uh, P-I-M-P for young 
readers and listeners. So instead of that word, I'll say shrimp. So when we were talking about Red Fox, you know, when he was decorating the cars, um, he would shrimp, shrimp it out. And also, Red Fox had red hair. And something else, he was good friends with someone else who had red hair. During the civil rights era, ask your grandparents, Malcolm Little. Does anybody know who Malcolm Little was? Right, Malcolm X. He had red hair. And indeed, Little Frog was right. All right. Hello, white dog with black spots, said Little Frog. Welcome to my birthday party. Thank you for inviting me, said white dog with black spots. But this is not a white dog with black spots, said Mama Frog. This is a black dog with white spots. What's wrong with you? Oh, Mama, you have not looked at the dog long enough, said Little Frog. Mama Frog looked and looked at the dog for a long time. Okay. Let's look at that black dot in the middle. Well, this should be easy. And something else about Red Fox, oh, well, this is sad, but he used to play in his Sanford and Son show like he was having like cardiac arrest or heart attack. That's why, you know, my mom would say, nah, don't, don't play with that because what happened is he was on a TV set, I think at an interview or, or I think a, a show that he was recording with, I believe, singer Della Reese, minister. And he wasn't going to say anything, but he was going to be in the background. And then I think he was also being interviewed. But he got up, he acted his part, and then he grabbed his chest and he fell to the floor. And I don't know if anybody ever heard of the term, don't cry wolf, because when something actually happens, people are not going to believe you. Well, that happened to him. Talking about foxes and wolves. He grabbed his chest and he was actually having a heart attack this time. He wasn't playing around. So, I'm just saying. And indeed, Little Frog was right. So, we just, we just um, be careful and mindful. And for the birthday child, said Mama Frog, a red flower with green leaves. But this is not a red flower with green leaves, said Little Frog. Oh, Little Frog, you have not looked at the flower long enough, said Mama Frog. Little Frog looked and looked at the flower for a long time. And indeed, oh, we didn't do that that long. Now before long, woo, five months from now, it'll be the day after Christmas. It's going to go away like that. Thinking about these Christmas colors, red and green. So as we're staring at this black dot, like I said, you could go back to this book. This was interesting. This was def definitely interesting. So what I'm saying is my mom said a long time ago, just don't be careful what you mock. She used to always talk about, in the Bible there were these kids who teased this old man and he didn't have hair. And they... The kids would mock him and say, oh, you bald-headed man. And do you know that later on, these kids were attacked by bears? So I grew up being mindful of playing the dozens and mocking people and insulting or joking around. Mm. I'm just saying, that's how I was raised. Okay, well, but this is not a red flower with green leaves. Oh, he didn't look long enough, mama. And um, indeed, she saw that. So we could learn a lot from our mom, and we could learn a lot from the child, the frog. Then Mama Frog kissed the little frog in front of all his friends. <laughs> so we can all learn from one another. And little frog blushed. We're never too old to learn. Happy birthday, little frog. Isn't this beautiful? So let's create some memories. Let's learn from each other intergenerationally, the adults from the children, the children from the adults, and let's be respectful of 
one another and let's open our eyes. Have a great day.